So if only 3% or, or 5% or 3 to 10% are, are reported, you just multiply that by whatever percentage is, is not reported, and you get the true number. On October 24, 2008, the National Vaccine Information Center issued a press release that calls on the Center for Disease Control and the FDA to release to the public the study design, data, and names of principal investigators involved in the report maintaining that Gardasil vaccine is safe with no serious side effects. So in in case you're having trouble in this convoluted presentation here, the National Vaccine Information Center is calling on the Center for Disease Control and the FDA to prove that this vaccine that's killing people is safe. The National Vaccine Information Center will also be calling on the newly elected president and members of Congress to remove the nation's vaccine safely monitoring, safety monitoring system from the Department of uh, Health and Human Services and place it in a separate entity reporting directly to the Congress. Sadly, U.S. government officials have learned nothing in the past 26 years from parents asking for investigation of vaccination side effects and identification of individuals at higher risk for having vaccine reactions so their lives can be spared. Now a callous disregard for human life, which has been tragically demonstrated for decades, is once again illustrated in this latest refusal to properly evaluate the risks of the newly licensed Gardasil vaccine. Now there's more. Hang on while I turn the page. Dr. Mercola then comments. Dr. Mercola, M.D., Get these numbers, folks. 10,000 adverse reactions are reported. That's maybe 3 to 5 to 10 percent. So if it's 10 percent, good Lord. That's 100,000 should have been reported, including 27 deaths have been reported to vaccine adverse reporting system in relation to Gardasil. Yet the Centers for Disease Control and FDA are alleging that the vast majority or even all of these cases are not related to the vaccine. Therefore, they say, Gardasil is now safe. What prompted the Centers for Disease Control and the FDA to imply that all 10,000-plus reactions to Gardasil are a mere coincidence? They reviewed data from several managed care organizations and found, quote, no increased risk of a pre-specified set of possible side effects, unquote. This leaves a lot of questions unanswered, such as how did they choose which medical records to evaluate? What were they looking for? Who did the looking? And how did they interpret what they saw? Yet this information is not being made public so that independent researchers can confirm or refute